So I've got some fantastic news to share. The platform that I've used for all of my stock screening, charting, research, and historical analysis, DeepView, is running a promotion in July where users can try the platform completely risk-free. And I mean completely risk-free. Doesn't cost a dime, and you don't need to enter your credit card information. You'll have 100% access to the platform until July 27th. And since DeepView is being so generous with this offer, I figured I'd make a video highlighting some of my favorite features, walk through how I use the platform for my daily and weekly routines, and then share links to my watch lists, screeners, column sets, and data panels so you can use the platform exactly how I do. And once you're convinced that this is a platform that you want to try out, there's a link in the pinned comment below to get started. First, I want to start with the charting features, then jump to the stats table and data panel that gives traders all the information they need to be confident in their next trade. One of the nice things about DeepView is you can create different layouts for different purposes. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I have my daily gap layout uh, that has some key moving averages, the 5, 10, 20 day exponential, 50 and 200 simple, along with the volume and the 50 day simple moving average line on the volume. Now I probably use this for about 70% of my time in DeepView, but I also have different layouts for historical studies, a monthly, weekly, and daily setup, and for my leaders list. And like I said, these charts are customizable, so you can be very creative with how you choose your layout. Starting at the top left, you choose the time frame that the chart is going to be showing from one minute up to 12 months, and you can favorite different time frames. You see I have one day and one week candles favorited, so I could quickly switch between daily and weekly charts. Next, you could select whether you want bars, candles, hollow candles, or many different other options. And then you get to the really fun part, the indicators. DeepView has over 100 indicators that you could choose from, including some custom indicators built by the team that you could search with DV and then see all the different ones, including DV percent from moving averages, candle patterns, or one that I helped create the DV market trend. No charting software is complete without a way to mark up charts and take notes. All you have to do is click on the pencil and then you'll get the drawing tools to pop up on the left. And just like the timeframes, you could also favorite. So you can see up top here, I've got my rectangle favorite, Anchor View app, and the horizontal ray. Now that we've covered the charting piece, let's jump down to the stats table that you could turn on and off by using the stats table button in the top right. If you're on a daily time frame or below, this will default to quarterly data, but you can change that by clicking the gear icon here and then switching to annual. You also have the ability to turn off estimates, earnings, and sales, and switch it from four quarters to eight quarters. Taking a look at Robinhood as an example here, once you hover over a, a specific quarter, you'll see that reported amount, the estimated amount, and surprise figures, both on percent and dollar basis, along with the, the day that the earnings were announced. You see a nice dotted line here. To the right of that dotted line is the next estimates. So we have three quarters of future estimates and two annual estimates. If I scroll back here, you also see this nice blue line under the earnings from 2023 Q4 to 2024 Q2. This blue line shows acceleration, meaning the growth rate of the earnings year over year has accelerated for the last three quarters or more. So you can see we went from 52 to 118, 118 to 131, 131 to 660. And then eventually when that growth rate started to decline from 660 to 278, that blue acceler acceleration line uh, no longer got extended. So the stats table is a great way to flip through charts and make sure that the stocks and companies that you're investing in are strong on both an earnings and sales basis. Next, I wanna to jump to the data panel, which very similar to the stats table, you turn on and off by using the button in the top right here, whether you need more space or you're okay with a little bit less. Just like you can create different chart layouts, you can create different data panels that fit your needs at different times. When you're creating your own data panel, you get to choose from any of the 868 data points that DeepView has to offer. And not only that, but you get to group them to make it easier to read. I've got company information, price and volume, momentum score and trend, and EPS score and annual fundamentals. If you're a little overwhelmed with all the, the data points, you don't have to create your own. They've got some data, uh, data panel presets for you, including top traders, deep view, and dashboard presets. As a growth stock trader who's trying to focus on the strongest stocks within the strongest industries, my favorite part of the data panel is actually adding the sector group industry along with industry rank and sector rank. When you click on the drop down within each group, you can see the top performing stocks within that group, that sector, industry, or sub industry. If you want to see the industry ranked by different time frames, one month, three month, 12 months, uh, just click on that drop down and then you can scroll up to see hey, in the last one month, semiconductors and semiconductor equipment is the strongest group. You want to see the stocks within that group? 
you just click on the header here, and then off to the left-hand side in the column sets, you'll see all of the stocks within that industry. And that leads us to the last part of the main layout, which is the column settings. Just like the data panel, you can customize these column settings by any of the 868 data points that DeepView currently has. They're always adding more and you can create multiple. So I've got different favorites for active trading and my nightly routine, along with ETFs, all three of these, which I'll be sharing in the description of this video. If I back out of here, you'll see the different uh, subgroups that, that the data points come in. There's general, earnings, sales, sector and industry, fundamentals, price and volume, technicals, institutions and insiders, proprietary ratings, and pre and post market. And if DeepView doesn't have a data point that you're looking for, you can always request one. If I hide my camera, you could go to the help button on the bottom left, go to roadmap, and then request your feature, indicator, data point, whatever it is that you think would make DeepView a better product. Now, DeepView has three different modules, the watch list, which we've been on this entire video, the screener, and the dashboard. On the watch list, you can create different watch lists and bookmark them so they show up in this top ribbon for easy access. And just like the data panel and column sets, there's also watch list presets. So you can see different stocks in themes like AI, blockchain, drones, nuclear, quantum, robotics, and space. Different top traders, what they're watching, a deep view watch list, and thematic ETFs. My favorite watch list, though, is the Trader Lion model book stocks, where you can go back and see the, the leading stocks in the market in 2018, 19, all the way up to 2024. This is a great tool to go back and study the best stocks during that time so you can catch the next ones. Another one of my favorite features is the ability to share watch lists with other DeepView users. I have a couple friends that use DeepView and we share our focus list coming into each day. All I have to do is go up to the ribbon, uh, say I want to share my long setup watch list. I'll click the three buttons to the right and click share. Now this is where it gets interesting. You can actually auto sync your watch list. Meaning if I have a watch list for tomorrow that's different than the watch list today, they don't have to re-download the new watch list. I could just turn on this auto sync when I'm sharing it and it will automatically update the, the list for that user. So if you wanna collaborate with other traders or if you have your own trading service, this is a great way to share the stocks that you're watching. Next, we can jump to the screener module, which at first glance looks exactly the same as the watch list one. That's because it is set up very similar. On the top left, you've got your save screens, and then on the right, you have screener presets, screens that have already been set up for you. Uh, you have the ability to create folders to stay organized and bookmark screens, so they show up in the top ribbon here for easy access. You can see I've got the up on volume screen, new liquid 52-week highs, liquid doublers, and the S&P 500 total. Now, this reminds me of another charting feature that I forgot to mention earlier, and that's mini charts. Up at the top right, you could select between single chart, which we've been showing, and mini chart. And during my weekend routine, I always go through the S&P 500 in this mini chart layout, just as a quick way to go through the entire market and see the stocks that are acting well, building the right side of their bases, trading tight, or breaking out on volume. Great way to go through an overall watch list as well. The mini charts can be used for screener results or watch lists. But jumping back to the screener, I want to show how easy it is to set up. You would just click on the top left here, go create new and screener. Once you click that over to the right, a column will show where you can create the new screen and the same data points that we use to populate the column sets and the data panel, you can now screen for. If you're a little nervous about starting. Uh, another nice feature is you could go to a preset screen. Say I want to go to the deep view universe. And I like a lot of the requirements that this one has, but I'm a little bit more picky. So I can actually duplicate the screen, change it to, I don't know, Deep View Universe Nick, save that. And now in my save screen, I have that Deep View Universe, let's see where it is, Deep View Universe Nick, I can click on that, and then click the edit button at the top right. And now I can come in here and change any of the requirements in that preset screen to fit my needs. It's got a nice and or logic function. So you could get very, very creative with the way you screen for stocks. And just like the watch list modules, you can share the screens that you create with other DPU users. I'll be sharing the daily screens that I use, the up on volume and volume and price pop screens, along with the weekend screens that I run, the liquid new 52 week highs and liquid doublers in the description of this video. And last but not least, we have the dashboard module where users can combine different elements to create their own dashboards, including chart, screener, watch list, 
data panel, stats table, position size calculator, performance charts, heat maps, bubble charts, and theme trackers. And just like the screener and washes modules, the UI is set up very similar. You can use folders to stay organized and bookmark dashboards to show in the top ribbon. If you're a little nervous about starting your own dashboard, you can use one of the presets that we've made for you and then customize it from there. Now you can see just how much DPU has to offer. And the thing is, I didn't even cover everything in this video. So once you sign up to give it a try, I highly recommend coming over to the education tab here, just above your profile picture. Here you can see different articles, tutorials, past and future events to really unlock all the value that DeepView has to offer. And last thing I'll say is if you have any other questions, you can use the help button at the bottom left to either contact the team or to refer to the knowledge base to get that information. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and give DeepView a try. Remember, it's completely risk-free, zero dollars and zero credit card information to try it with 100% access until July 27. So click on the link in the pinned comment to get started. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments of this video and I'll be responding to every one of them. Have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.